began this year by formalizing for Jamaica the permanent home for her foreign ministry. From the walls of this new building, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade was able to stand taller and stronger as it firmly executed its missions in 2022. In the past year, one of the major mandates of the ministry was to rescue several Jamaicans stranded in foreign territories. Our effort to repatriate students who had to flee Ukraine following Russia's invasion was ultimately successfully executed under very difficult circumstances. We're just happy that we're home. I'm very grateful to be here right now. In November, the ministry also repatriated 33 Jamaican fishermen who had been detained for illegally fishing in Colombian waters. Our bilateral relations remain strong and formidable. We've strengthened existing partnerships and engaged new ones. A new agreement was entered with the Caribbean Export Development Agency to bolster the productivity and export competitiveness of the Jamaican coffee sector. The ministry partnered with the United Nations to attain sustainable development goals following the signing of the 2022-2026 Multi-Country Sustainable Development Convention Framework. Bilateral relations between Jamaica and South Africa were enhanced with the signing of a joint communique. A memorandum of understanding was signed with Trinidad and Tobago to provide companies in both countries with a transparent and predictable means of addressing export challenges. Another MOU was signed with Namibia to strengthen cooperation in the areas of education, health, culture, entertainment, agriculture and mining. Today, Jamaica maintains diplomatic relations with 174 countries of the 193 members of the UN. The ministry has also played a significant role in engaging with the Jamaican diaspora and in promoting and protecting the welfare of Jamaicans wherever they reside. The ninth Biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference was successfully convened after being postponed in 2021 due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the national diaspora policy was approved by cabinet with the white paper subsequently tabled in the Senate. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade closed its 2022 chapter with several winning streaks and a commitment to continuously play a critical role in helping Jamaica achieve development and prosperity. Thank you.